What's going on you guys? It's the Michael Myers. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys another top 10 video. I'm going to be doing my top 10 best horror movies from the 1970s. So yeah, this one was a pretty interesting one to put together. I pretty much, you know, grabbed my favorite films that really, you know, define and represent, you know, this decade of horror films. As you guys know, the 70s was definitely a great decade for horror. I think it's the decade that really made, um, you know, horror movies, you could say more mainstream, definitely opened a lot of doors. Yeah, man, we're gonna get started. Like always, this is my personal opinion. If you guys feel like I missed out on any, make sure you guys comment down below. But we're gonna get started here. Number 10 on my list I got is The Last House on the Left. Of course, this is Wes Craven's uh, you know, director debut. And it's honestly the very first movie when it comes to, you know, the whole revenge kind of torture, rape kind of movies. I know a lot of movies came out after this that were kind of the same concept. But this one was the very first one. I believe this was 1972. And yeah, I think Wes Craven definitely did a good job. Of course, it's kind of a, at the time, you know, a low budget kind of movie, but it definitely worked. And like I said, it really uh, paved the way for a lot of these, uh, you know, horror movies to come after. And it really, you could say, set Wes Craven for, you know, his classics later on. But uh, Last, Ho Last House on the Left, the original pretty good film. I even like the, the remake they came out with. I think it's Platinum Dooms, but uh, pretty good film. Number nine on my list. I actually wasn't going to include this movie on this list, but I definitely had to because I felt like if I didn't, my 70s list would have been, wouldn't be complete. And that is Jaws, man. Of course, one of the most uh, iconic movies of all time. Me personally, I don't really consider this um, a horror movie. It does have some horror elements for sure. At the time, you know, you could say it was, you know, considered more horror you know, than nowadays, but um, yeah, man, I mean, this was a blockbuster hit, you know, and you guys could check out all the, you know, shark ripoff movies they did after. Not a big fan of the sequels. I think this is one, one of those movies that only should have been the first original. It worked so, re it worked really well. But another great aspect to this movie, man, is the characters themselves, you know, like Captain Brody. I think they really um, carry on the movie really well, man. And it's what really, you know, made the movie stand out. I always have a great time with this movie for sure. This is the uh, 30th anniversary edition. So yeah, man, Jaws, like I said, it wouldn't be complete without uh, this classic. So uh, yeah, that's my number nine. Number eight I got is a pretty, you know, you could say intense movie, uh, Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. So yeah, I actually rewatched this movie recently. You know, I haven't seen it in many years. Yeah, it's one of those, you know, weird, you could say disturbing movies. Especially at the time, you know, a lot of people kind of considered it graphic. But, you know, the whole message behind this movie, it's kind of still relevant to this day. Like, if you guys seen this movie, you guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of crazy stuff, you know, and of course, uh, Stanley Kubrick's one of his better work for sure. You know, he definitely adds his twist, which makes this... Like I said, a uh, weird movie. You could say more interesting. But yeah, it definitely has a lot of good horror elements in this movie for sure. And of course, you got Mac Malcolm McDowell, man. I think he did a great job playing the role. I think his name was Alex. This is like one of those movies that, you know, every time you rewatch them, you kind of find something new. It's definitely become a cult classic throughout the years. But uh, yeah, number seven I got is black christmas now to me this is like the start you could say the birth of the whole slasher genre you know i like to say you know the later slashers that came on after this you know like michael myers of course jason they kind of grabbed a little bit inspiration from black christmas man because like i said this is uh like the very first slasher movie of course another one of those uh low budget movies Directors didn't really know if it was going to be a hit. But yeah, man, in my personal opinion, this is probably the best uh, Christmas horror movie, man. This is definitely a go-to for me. It's kind of a clever movie, you know. Even the kills, for example, this kill is definitely 
real iconic you know the plastic bag scene the plastic bag kill definitely pretty chilling like i said it definitely has a lot of slasher aspects to it you know a lot of things that la later movies caught on but uh yeah man definitely the beginning of slasher movies right here but uh yeah man like i said every year in christmas this is my go-to and um yeah man great film definitely recommend you guys checking it out number six on my list i got is the omen man pretty creepy film there's definitely a go-to movie for me man i always have a good time watching this movie just the whole concept of it you know pretty creepy you got you know uh damien the little boy a lot of creepy scenes in here one of the main standouts uh scenes for me is you know when they're at the party and i guess the babysitter she like hangs herself even the whole you know evil dogs you could say the the boy sees like the, the whole directing man i really really do like uh this is another one that i never was a big fan of the rest of the movies i think um the first one is definitely where it's at for me of course gregory peck uh plays the father did a pretty good role man like i said it's a uh, one of those movies i always go back to revisit you know not your average um you know you could say horror movie but it's definitely inter interesting one all right now we have come to my number five george a. romero's donna the dead to me my personal opinion this is my favorite uh zombie movie of all time just the whole special effects man um they definitely nailed it you know they definitely took it out of the ballpark like i said especially for the 70s for the time this movie came out i think the whole you know practical effects were on a whole different level like they definitely do look more realistic than a, a lot of the stuff that came later on you know with more technology and stuff like that of course they were done by tom savini classic iconic stuff man you know we definitely love him for his great you know contribution to a lot of these classic films yeah but just a lot, a lot of good shit in the in these movies man you know um the whole zombie george a. romero my go-to when it comes to these movies but dawn of the dead 1978 classic movie so uh yeah i definitely had to uh add this on the list number four on my list i got is carrie man Carrie, to me, is a great example of a horror movie. I always have fun with this movie. Uh, Sissy Spacek definitely played played a great role, man. Like I said, it's one of those uh, simple movies, you could say, that are really, you know, effective. And if I'm not mistaken, a lot of people consider this, like, the best uh, novel movie adaptation. I know um, a lot of those classic Stephen King novels were turned into movies. And as a matter of fact... Uh, this was the very first one. This was the very first time uh, a Stephen King novel was, uh, you know, converted into a movie. And they did a great job, man. Like I said, definitely has a lot of great uh, horror moments, even the score, man. And then you got the crazy mother. Of course, a lot of those scenes are like the standout scenes to me, you know, especially in the ending, you know, with Carrie and the mother kind of going at it. it, it it's, a, it's a great film, man. I, I love Carrie. I always love rewatching it, never get bored of it. But um Carrie, amazing film. All right, now we're at number three. Of course, this list wouldn't be complete without this classic movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. Enough has been said, you know, this is such a great movie. This was also, of course, one of the um, earlier slasher movies for sure. But at the time, it wasn't really like considered slasher. You know, the Leatherface character kind of became that like later on, like in the sequels and stuff like that. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was even banned you know at, at the time of its release in a few countries but um yeah man of course we are um grew up loving the original texas chainsaw massacre can never get enough of it man so uh texas chainsaw massacre one of my favorite films of all time number two john carpenter's halloween man of course classic movie it was great seeing this movie in the big screen i actually did um see it you know during last halloween season great experience man so if you guys ever uh, uh come across you know a movie theater that's um showing a lot of classics especially during halloween time this is definitely a go-to but um yeah it was a great experience of course this was when michael was still kind of a, a scary character you know i know the series has its ups and downs but uh 
there's definitely nothing that could top the OG movie. Halloween Man, 1978. We all love this movie. And number one, my favorite movie from the 1970s. Honestly, it's this list contains a lot of my favorite movies of all time. The 70s, man, like I said, really is a standout decade for horror movies. But my number one, William Peter Blatty's The Exorcist, man. You guys already know what's up. This is like great uh, filmmaking, man, at his finest. William Friedkin, you know, he definitely took uh, Peter Blatty's novel and turned it into this masterpiece classic. I love this movie. This is my favorite horror movie of all time. This was a game changer. Like there was nothing like this at the time. It really had a big major impact, not in just horror movies, but in movies in general. Yeah, I know the direct sequel is coming out this October, the Blumhouse one. And I think um, it will. this film will be playing in some theaters for the 50th anniversary, which I can't wait, man. I will be doing that. I already found a few theaters that will be playing it. So uh, definitely will be adding that to my bucket list, man. I'm going to have to, you know, especially witnessing my favorite horror movie of all time in the big screen. Hell yeah, man. I mean, we already did it with Halloween last year. This year, we're going to watch The Exorcist. So uh, enough said with this classic movie. Love it. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, that was my top 10 horror movies from the 70s. Tell me what you guys think. Like I said, if you guys feel like I missed out on any, make sure you guys let me know. And I do have a few more of these coming. Of course, I'm going to do an 80s and 90s. Maybe even trickle down to the 2000s, man. We'll see what's up. But uh, thank you guys for watching, man. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. It's the Michael Myers signing out.